No way. You are not gonna believe it. I'm not on birth control. I have no interest in going on birth control. I haven't talked to my boyfriend in three days. I cannot deal with the junk in here. Why did they send two? Is my fertility because I'm 33 years old. No way, you are not gonna believe it. Look, I accidentally dropped my powder and it is completely smashed. There's nothing left, I have to throw it out. To be honest, I could have done with a new one, but why? Why do I keep breaking things? Good morning. I don't understand what is happening. I don't know why I keep breaking things. I don't know what's going on, but I'm hoping that it's just temporary and I don't continue down this path of continually breaking things and things falling apart. Oh, I don't know what's happening. But what I do know is that I am trying a little mascara combination right now. I'm using my new Hourglass Unlocked Mascara and then going over the top with the Maybelline Colossal. The Maybelline Colossal is like my favorite mascara of all time, but I thought I would try both this morning and I actually I really quite like it, so I'm gonna do that. Seriously, I just dropped the mirror. I didn't break. But like, ah, I can't keep things in my hands. I keep dropping things, I keep breaking things. What is happening? This palette is already so destroyed anyway. I kind of broke it last year. It's fine though, I'm gonna get a new one soon. I promise, I just don't like wasting things and there's still eyeshadow in here. I just, I wanna use it all up. Okay, I'm done, my makeup is done. You know what, my ears have kind of healed though so I can put my earrings in. Done. I can take my hair out of this wrap now. It's been in here for, oh my God. I almost <laughs> knocked off my jewelry holder with my elbow. Seriously, no sudden movements. What is happening? <laughs> I keep breaking things. Oh, okay. I was saying my hair has been in the wrap for long enough that, oh, okay. Now it's stuck in my lipstick. This is wonderful. <laughs> oh, okay. I need a second. I need a second to regroup. <laughs> My hair has been in the wrap long enough that I can take it out now and let it air dry just a little bit longer and I can put some product in it. Still don't love my hair, but it's okay. I'm gonna be getting it done soon. Ah, <laughs> I'm feeling very frazzled. I've been frazzled for a couple days now. I'm feeling weirdly anxious because I just need a bunch of stuff to time up together. I have some deliveries coming this week. I'm still waiting on my computer. I no longer have updates. It's The last update was in Sydney two days ago. So it could be getting delivered today, maybe tomorrow, hopefully the next day I just I really really want the computer and then I angry purchased a bunch of stuff the other day off Amazon I was just in a mood and you know when you're in a mood and you're like I just need these things and I purchased things to be fair I did put them on the business account because technically they are things that I need I did buy some studio lighting to help me be able to film in the kitchen a little bit better because I was I was saying in my last video it's so dark and then I bought a whole bunch of new cleaning products which I'm really excited about to be able to clean for my cleaning videos and then the other thing that's not really an essential thing or not really something that I need is that I bought a curling wand and I bought a GHD because you know it's GHD you know it's good yes it's more expensive but it's good and I left my curling wand at my boyfriend's but it's actually sort of an older curling wand I don't normally use because my actual curling wand broke after like eight years of having it back in August when I was in Toronto so I was planning on buying a new one anyway and I just didn't know what I wanted and I just was like I have to buy a curling wand because I need to do my hair and my hair is annoying me and everything's annoying me and so I did an Amazon order out of frustration and that I think is arriving today as well. Okay we've moved into the bathroom because I just want to put some product in my hair. This one's my favorite. This is the Kerastase uh, Nectar Thermique. It's a heat protecting cream. I don't know I've been using it for I actually don't know how many years now. 
at least, I think I want to say at least two years and it's just the best. It's the best after shower product. It is a bit pricey, but I just, I love it. And when I don't have it and I've run out and I don't use it, I can feel the difference in my hair. So I love it. Anyway, please forgive me if today I'm just all kinds of frazzled, all kinds of like here, there and everywhere. Cause I just feel like that's the energy that I have right now. It's like bad vibes, chaotic. I don't know what's happening. I did have a conversation with one of you on Instagram and I'm not like super spiritual. I'm not not spiritual. Like I don't really know, but sometimes it's really fun to participate in those things. And um, I was told I should go and get some sage or some like cleansing incense and do like a room cleanse, which I love. I have sage in my storage locker in Toronto, but obviously I don't have any here. So I think today I might take a trip to a, my favorite little town and go to this really cool crystal store that has just everything that's really cute. And then I'm gonna grab some groceries on the way home. And hopefully these packages and things arrive and I can try to get my frazzledness, my bad energy under control. Now I can't find my hairbrush. just made myself a coffee and of course used my footage from my morning routine last week because you know it's dark and it's hard to film and that's why I bought the studio lights hopefully they do come today oh I'm just gonna let my hair air dry a little bit before I go and um, quickly blow dry it get dressed and I do have to leave soon I just spoke to my mom and she wants me to pick up some iron tablets which makes a lot of sense I mean she needs them as well but I really should be taking them again I think you know the whole iron thing at the beginning of the year that was a roller coaster of being absolutely exhausted, trying to squeeze in, getting my iron infusion before I went back overseas, like it was a whole thing. And I've been fine for months, but I have started to feel a bit more tired over the last week, particularly this week, because I did get my period, not last night, but the night before. And in the last couple of years, it started to get so heavy, so heavy, so painful. Like I spent the whole afternoon yesterday in bed because I just couldn't do anything. Today is not so bad, but like I still have a bit of lower back pain and I'm just a bit uh, like it's, it's wild. So it's getting pretty crazy. I'm not on birth control. I have no interest in going on birth control ever again in my life. I stopped at the beginning of 2019. I am not allowed to be on the combined pill because I kept having severe migraines, which can lead to strokes. And it's just, it's not a good idea. So yeah, I have no interest in going back on it. Something I would like to look into though is my fertility because I am 33 years old. And by time I get around to having babies, if that ever happens, it's probably Probably not going to be until I'm after 35 so it's a good idea to maybe look into it now because like if something's wrong or I can't have kids or whatever it's it's kind of something I should figure out so that I can uh, plan my life accordingly not that you can really plan your life but you know what I mean so I actually have no idea where to start if if anyone could help me and tell me what to do, do I just go and make an appointment with my GP and then say to them that, hey, look, I wanna check where my fertility's at because it's something that I would like to know to be able to see what's gonna happen in the next few years with my life. Um, but yeah, I, I've not really talked about this before. Or have I? Have I ever talked about having kids, wanting kids, not wanting kids? I don't remember. It was never something I was ever particularly interested in. I never thought that I would have kids. But as things have shifted in my life and things have changed around, um, the last few years I've become more open to the idea of it. I'm at a point where like my life's gonna be great either way. Kids, no kids, either way, life's gonna be so great. But I am leaning more towards having a family and I would like to know where I'm at and what the options are moving into like the next few years of my life. So that's something I need to, to look into and get on top of, but I, I don't know where to start. I've never done it before. So yeah, do I just make an appointment with my GP? Is that the best way to go about it? Anyway, I'm gonna finish this, blow dry my hair, get dressed and get ready.
I feel like my hair looks really good today and I'm very happy about it because I've not been happy with my hair lately. But to be fair, it's also been a while since I've actually blow dried it from wet to dry. I usually just like get lazy and let it air dry. And then when I try to blow dry it after that, it doesn't really work as well. So I'm not, I'm not mad about it today. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm just checking the weather. That is not the weather app. That is the TikTok app. Do not need to be, no, that's maps. Weather. I'm just trying to see what the vibe is. Also, sorry if you can hear the tractor. I know it's running out there and I have my headphones in and it's a little muted for me right now. Oh, it's not that noisy. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, so it's gonna be 20 degrees today. It's currently 16. I think I might wear a long sleeve shirt. I'm unsure if I should keep my black pants on. My Sloan pants, so I swear they're the only ones that I wear. I don't know why I'm lifting up my foot. You can't even see my foot. Um, and I don't even know why that's a thing. Like, why do we do this in like outfit videos? Like lifting our feet up. Is it to show the shoes better? I don't know, it's just a thing. Maybe it's a habit. You film and you're like, here's my foot. I don't know. Anyway, um, do I really want to go black on black on black or should I put my green pants on just to change it up? Or beige? No, it's gotta be green. I don't wanna wear beige while I have my period. That's just a disaster waiting to happen. Maybe I'll go green. Actually, you know what I wanna do instead? I think I might even go denim. Why not go denim? Denim and black work. Do they, or should I go even light denim? I'm gonna go the light denim. I like light denim and black. And these are fun patchy pants that I got last year, 20, beginning of 2022 from Garage. Yeah, Garage in Toronto, uh, Canada really, because it's a, I think it's a Canadian brand. It's the same as Dynamite, great brand. Very similar to Cotton On, like here in Australia, which I know you can get Cotton On there and you can get Cotton On in uh, America and things like that, but very, very similar brands. I'm gonna go with this one instead. going super casual today because I don't know I just feel like it it's comfy I have plenty of room in these jeans because they're actually now a little bit too big for me which is nice so that when you know stomach is just feeling a bit eh, I got the room what else do I need I'm gonna take my headphones with me because I like to listen as I walk around the supermarket I think that's it I think I'm actually good to go had to come back in the car because it's just too cold and windy out there. It's not that cold. It was just windy and my eyes are watering, but this is a sausage roll. I think this is an Australian thing, but basically it's like a miniature little uh, meatloaf wrapped in pastry and it is delicious. You have it with tomato sauce. So good. I've had so many from the bakery since being back. I, I love them. So I'm going to finish this off and then I'm going to continue on to the supermarket. I'm so excited. Everything has arrived. I even have my laptop, my laptop. I guess it moved to the third party couriers and I stopped getting updates two days ago. I am so excited. I finally am able to edit this video on my new laptop. I have so many things. I'm so happy, I'm so happy. Okay, let's unbox, let's unbox. Uh, I don't know what to start with. Let's do this one first. I almost forgot for a second what I purchased, wait. Why did it come as, why did they send two? 
<laughs> I ordered one pack of microfiber cloths, but they've sent two. I'm pretty sure that was a mistake. I'm quite sure the listing was for 12 and there's 12 in a pack. Anyway, so now I have 24 gray microfiber cloths for cleaning. I finally got some pink stuff to try. This is the bathroom foam cleaner. I have heard a lot about the pink stuff and so I decided to finally grab some so the next time I clean my bathroom I can do that. I have some sponge daddy sponges. It comes with four different colors and it's got the rough scrubby side on one side and then like a regular fluffy sort of sponge on the other side and I wanted to co color coordinate with them when I clean the bathroom and things like that. This one is so exciting. I bought one of those electric scrubber brushes that I can use in the bathroom and I have no idea. I hope oh it's chargeable. It's a USB charger. <gasps> Ooh, this is really fun. It's just a handheld one. You can get different ones. They have different heads that come with them. You can get different ones for that have like a extender arm and things, but I just thought I would get the handheld one because I can reach the entire shower when I stand normally. It works! This is gonna be so cool to try out when I get to clean next. I mean, I did just clean the bathroom, so it's not gonna be for a little while, but I'm really excited about this. And I have my new curling wand. I could not decide. Wait, what does this say? Amazon warehouse, great deals on used items. That's right, I forgot. I actually purchased an already opened GHD because it was $180 instead of $230. So I saved $50 by opening one, by, by opening, by buying one that was already opened. It said that it works. It said that it's fine. So we will see. If it doesn't work, obviously I'm gonna send it back. But it's so shiny. So shiny. I saved myself $50 by buying one that was already open. This box is like perfect. It has everything in it. Comes with the instruction manual, has everything. I'm gonna guess that maybe one that hasn't been opened has plastic wrapped around the box, but like this box isn't even damaged. And so I feel I got a really good deal for it. And I'm just really excited about it. I can do my hair, I can do my hair. Okay, next box. I'm gonna finish Amazon before I do the star of the show, my laptop. Oh, how exciting. So that is like the frame thingy, the box of the soft box light. This here is the light globe. I only bought one because I just didn't feel like I needed a full set. Yeah, there we go. It is like a kind of almost like a tripod stand-ish, not quite the same as a camera tripod, but these stands are pretty standard for soft box lighting and for hanging up drop backdrops and things like that. And then if I do that, that comes out and you can extend it up and make it different heights. Okay, here's the giant light globe if you've never seen one of these for studio lighting. They're these really, really big light globes and they screw into the inside of this. Not gonna put the whole thing together right now because I just don't need it and I'm getting itchy. I just wanna open the laptop. I have made the biggest mess in here now. The floor is covered. Okay, so let me get back here. This is what the inside of a soft box looks like. Push this piece down to clip it into place and it won't clip. There we go. No. Not quite. Just clip into place. There we go. Okay, so that's what the inside looks like. The light globe screws into there. The back of this attaches to the stand. You plug it in and then there is a, uh, a white sheet that velcros to the front of this to soften that light and diffuse it all. And that's a soft box light for shooting photos, videos, whatever. And it helps with, you know, dim lighting situations. It's now time for the best part, my laptop. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm gonna be able to actually edit videos in a timely manner. I'm gonna be able to surf the internet without having to click and wait 30 seconds for anything to happen. I'm gonna be able to have Zoom calls and watch Netflix without it glitching like there's no internet connection. Oh, this is gonna be so nice. I'm so excited.
It's so beautiful. I'm really excited. It feels super heavy duty. The only annoying thing is I'm pretty sure today Apple is announcing a new faster computer, but I can't wait any longer. I don't want to return it. Well, you know, provided that it works and everything's totally fine, but I'm really excited. It looks so pretty. I went with the space gray. This is the 14 inch MacBook Pro. So it's going to be super fancy and really, really good for video editing and all those sort of heavier duty programs that I need to run. I grabbed my other laptop. This is a 13 inch. It's actually only maybe this much, like this much smaller than the 14 inch. So the 14 inch is still pretty compact, which I like. The thing about Apple is yes, yesterday they did announce the brand new M3 chip MacBooks. This one is an M2. I cannot believe it happened. You know what? I don't care. Maybe the M3 chip is so much better, but as of a week ago, this was the best computer on the market and I bought it and I'm gonna keep it. And hopefully it lasts me five years before I have to go and repurchase another one. But can you believe it? Ah, I buy a computer a week before they come out. But I think this one's gonna be totally fine and I'm really excited to set it up. I am not doing it from a time machine backup. I always set my laptops up as brand new computers because uh, I just it stresses me out. The amount of disorganization I have in my folders stresses me out and I do not wanna unload that straight into a new computer. So I will offload everything that I wanna keep there onto an external, wipe that, get rid of that computer, and then we can edit on this one. So let's start with English. Did I press anything? I just realized, I think I selected US English, whatever, it's close enough. Wait, I can go back. Honestly, look at the mess that I have created in here. Oh, I am so much, I now need to pick up and organize. I also have a couple of groceries I need to put away. I should show you what I bought. Specifically, these are the best iron tablets. I highly recommend them. I also grabbed some white sage for my room. I could have bought sage to burn, but I kind of wanted incense and I think white sage will be good. And then right down here, I got a little crystal. This is the little crystal I got. I can't remember what it's called, fuchsia, I think. And apparently when you pick crystals, you don't pick them, the crystals pick you. So if you're drawn to one, it means you're supposed to have it. And this one I saw and I was like, ah have to have it so I got it and from what I quickly googled I think it brings joy and it's just a like positive stone plus it's really pretty and it's green so I'm very happy with this little guy but I can't deal with my computer because it's thinking and it's thinking too much and it's taking too long to try and find the other Mac and I will not worry about it right now oh I get to sign in with my Apple ID I cannot deal with the junk in here. <laughs> I assure you, the floor was clean when I walked in, except for the box and the clothing rack over there because that's still the kitchen stuff from the other day that I haven't touched because I was all weirded out. And I did take some things to the kitchen, but I haven't finished going through it yet. The rest of the stuff just was unboxed and I need to organize it and my computer's taking its time to set up. So I'm gonna clean while I wait for my computer to do its thing. I've been doing a few things and I got all my emails set up. I set up Google Chrome. I now need to download Final Cut Pro so I can edit this video. I'm so excited. It just seems so much faster already to be able to do everything. I just made myself a cup of tea, but it is a little bit too hot. So I'm just gonna sit it down. I'm all rugged up, not because it's cold. Well, I mean, it's a little cold inside. So this is like a concrete house, so it can get cold inside, but outside is beautiful. I may actually move the laptop outside. Final Cut Pro is gonna take about 10 million years to download. The home internet, house internet here is shocking. I connect to my phone half the time, but in order for my phone to actually have the best reception is to stand in the driveway or possibly sit in the backyard. Middle of the driveway is the best, but uh, I think I may have to go sit outside for a bit to help it download quicker. But anyway, I was just thinking about how I haven't talked to my boyfriend in three days. And I know that sounds really weird, but I'm gonna give you an interesting backstory and something that I've learnt over the last couple of years. So I'm not a texter. I don't like texting. Day-to-day -day little textings, I'm, I'm not a fan. In fact, my friends have said to me before, they're like, I can't tell if you hate me when you text. I am so dry. I am so formal when I text. And I have to like reassure them and be like, no, no, everything's fine. <laughs> like I'm just a terrible 
casual texter. It's not my strong suit to casually text people. So if you have ever DM'd me and I sound like I hate you, I am sorry. I don't, I'm just really bad at it. I try to use a lot of emojis to be like, everything's fine, I'm not angry. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just not a texter and neither is my boyfriend. We don't text each other throughout the day It's not my vibe. It's not his vibe. We either voice note if we really want to talk about something or We call each other and we FaceTime every single day But I haven't talked to him in three days and now this is where it gets almost a little contradictory Text messaging is designed to be really really casual, right? But for me, I actually don't mind using a text or a written form to express something that's a little bit more important. So I mentioned in a couple of videos ago about you know working with a therapist and one of the things I've been focusing on is learning to communicate. I've been learning to communicate for four years and it's gotten a lot better in the last year. Like I've been able to have some really hard conversations I would have avoided in the last year. So I've made a lot of progress in that regard. But I am very, very good at writing out how I feel. I am articulate, I am clear, concise, I am gentle and kind, but firm. Writing is my strong suit when it comes to expressing my feelings. Verbally, not so much. I get a little bit tongue-tied, I fumble on my words, I, things just don't get expressed the way that I want them to and then I can get frustrated and so I, I don't mind writing out how I'm feeling and my boyfriend's the same. So we use text, text messages in a bit of an odd way like that and I wake up the other morning to this really long text message from him and the first line reads, this message is not going to be nice to receive and my heart sinks. And I start reading and I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm like, this is the greatest text message I have ever read in my entire life. Basically, right now he has a lot going on and he would just sent me this beautiful message to say that he is at max capacity and he wishes he were able to be here to help me solve my problems, even though I don't really need my problems to be solved. I was just venting about some things that have been going on, but you know, he wants to help me and support me. And he was just saying like, that he's maxed out and if he's a bit distant for the next few days that's because these are all of the things that he's focusing on just wants to let me know that that's where he's at that he's not feeling any negative way about this and that he misses me and that's just that and i was like this is the greatest message i've ever received he was so kind and gentle communicated where he's at communicated what he needs at the moment for the next few days and i responded and was like completely understand i appreciate you sending me this message i was like this is a perfect way to communicate with me in no way shape or form did this upset me and don't even worry about calling to discuss it further like do your thing and let me know if I can be of support to you and we can you know chat when you know things settle down and so we haven't had a phone call in three days we did send a couple memes on Instagram and he did give me a text update yes no this morning and we'll probably talk tonight which is his morning or if not it'll be tomorrow morning for me his night when things have eased up for him but I wanted to share this story because it was one of those things that made me realize like how much things have changed since I've like worked on communicating and it's just so nice to be with someone who's able to communicate in that way because the amount of times from different guys I've had in my life where they've just sort of snapped at me and been like I can't deal with you right now and there is nothing worse than being on the receiving end of that I can't deal with you right now it makes you feel like you're a burden it makes you feel like you're doing something wrong and it's just the worst feeling and I am so thankful and appreciative that he was just so easily able to communicate that with me and I have never felt more comfortable or secure in a relationship or being in a relationship where we haven't really had much contact for a couple of days and I was just thinking about how that is a world of difference to where I was a couple of years ago and with other people that I've had in my life and I know that that's such an odd way to communicate for some people that you would think being formal and serious in text message and not casual is like the odd way to do it but it's just a way that works for both of us and I'm so glad that we're on the same page with that type of communication. But yeah, I was just thinking about how different it is and how thankful I am for things being this way and how I feel like I, if I could go back a year, because I was kind of dating someone a year ago-ish, whatever. If I could go back a year and just be like, get rid of him. He is garbage. Seriously, you deserve so much better. And there is someone literally in front of you because my boyfriend and I have been friends for a while. And I just, oh, I wish I could go back and just like shake myself. Hindsight's funny though, right? It's amazing. But yeah, I don't really know why I shared that story. I was just thinking about it and just feeling grateful. And I don't know, just felt like sharing the story 
story and the change, but yeah, my camera battery is actually flashing at me, so I'm gonna have to leave you for a little bit, charge the camera, try and download the Final Cut so I can edit, and then I'll check back in in a little bit. This is the current situation. I have my laptop sitting on a chair in the middle of the driveway because this is where I get the best phone reception, and I have been outside for about two hours, and I went to the app store and nothing had happened. Like, it got stuck and it wouldn't keep downloading, and I think if I open it, it'll still, whoops, I'm not even showing you what I'm doing. It will still be stuck at the same place. And then I realized that the computer actually itself software needs to be updated. So wait, final cut, no, final cut. Yeah, see, just stuck here at three gigs out of 4.7. And it was stuck at that for, I don't know, half an hour, 40 minutes before I realized and I was going to restart the computer and then realize that there's actually an update that needs to be done for the entire software. So now I have to do that and then I can finally download Final Cut. But like this day is getting away from me and this was not as simple as I thought it would be. I have been trying some new camera settings on my camera today and like seeing myself in the viewfinder, it's it's like there's a slight delay. So I have no idea if it's recording at a delay. So if half the footage today has been off, I'm sorry, but I don't know what's going on. I'm just starting to regret having bought this camera. I should have bought something else. Um, I am changing into my gym clothing because I'm gonna go for an afternoon walk once my laptop is updated, thankfully. It's update, I mean, it's downloading the update pretty quickly. Once, I think, I don't think I need the internet to like update. I think I just need the internet to download. So once it's downloaded, I'm probably just gonna let it update, go for my walk and then um, maybe, maybe, maybe tonight, if I finally download Final Cut, I'll be able to edit this video and see how the new computer goes. <laughs> How consistent I've been. I've got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, ready to hit Wednesday. I wanna try and get every day this week. I am now back from my walk. It is 7, 6.45. 6.45 p.m. And it still has 30 minutes left. I left it on the house Wi-Fi and it didn't really move. Nothing happened. Oh wait, oh my God, that just went really quickly. It's almost downloaded. So once I install this, then I can download Final Cut and then I can edit this video. Ah, oh, we're so close. I've been sitting out here for 15 minutes and it's finally restarted itself. I am so close to getting the editing program on and being able to edit this video. It's 7 p.m. and you can see me okay, but I set up the soft box. Give me one second. Can you see me better now? It's definitely more nighttime looking, but I think the footage should be crisper. Like, you, you know, better lighting means better footage. So yay, it's 7 p.m. and you can see me and it's just better. My computer is gonna take its sweet time doing its thing. My cousin just sent through the gallery from her wedding from a few weeks ago and oh my god, they're so pretty. They're so pretty. I'm so excited to see all of the pictures. It was honestly the best wedding. Like, I have taken so much inspiration from her wedding because it was just so chill and it was so nice. So I am so excited. Oh, wow. The photographer has like categorized everything. There is portraits. There's a big group family portrait. Also, I started picking my nail color off. I'm going to sit down tonight and completely chill out and just take my nails off and start again tomorrow. I'm probably going with a light pink color. It's been really fun being red, nice and bright, but I think I'm going to go back to pink. My brothers and my other cousin are taking photos and they're just kind of memeing. They're just making jokes now, but I can't see what they're doing because I'm waiting for the rest of the photos to load, but they won't load because the internet's so bad. Okay, that's it. I'm going back to the group chat. I want to see what they're talking about. You know what? I didn't even have to wait for the photos to load. They've already saved them and shared them. Oh, the family ones look so nice. We are a bunch of short people in my family. Like really short. This is me and my mom and my three brothers and their three girlfriends and we're all just very short people. <laughs> and then here's like the bigger family. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, and Pippin, my auntie's dog. Just the cutest little puppy. Oh man, what a great like bunch of pictures. They're, they're like messaging nonstop right now. I'm just gonna have to type something. Oh my god, I love it. Let me sleep. See? See? I don't know how to text. I don't know how to participate in these things. I had to make a little makeshift incense holder. I couldn't find any of my mum's ones, so I've got a little bit of blue tack on a dinner plate with this little cat ceramic thing holding it up. It's doing the job. 
It smells amazing. I really, really like it. My incense finished burning out. It is so nice in here and my little setup worked perfectly. And it's now 10 p.m. I really need to go and have a shower and get myself ready for bed. But Final Cut Pro has been installed and I've actually been editing this video and it's fantastic. Like you've already seen all of this footage. This is incredible. It is so fast. It imported so fast. I had never had any glitches, no stopping, nothing. It was so easy and I'm so happy. I also did take all of my nails off and I cut them short and went with kind of like a square shape, but I'm gonna paint them tomorrow. Anyway, I'm gonna go and finish off the rest of my evening and get myself to bed and I will see you very, very shortly.